All right, this table here, second Chevron table, the bigger one's over there, the coffee table. This is this other table that's been ordered. I've got the Chevron on top. I got the trim around it. Now I've also got the pre stain on it. So now I'm putting on these nasty gloves right here. So I'm fixing to get nasty with this stuff. Uh, fixing to do the stain. So what I do is I first start off with a chip brush because I'm going to use this to go down and get all the cracks. Um, that the rag won't get so if I go behind it with a rag, but I'm gonna um, first use this to get all the cracks a little time consuming, but I'm gonna do it right so Just go right down the middle where the chevron meets make sure I soak it into the cracks really good um, Go all around the border with it. So this this is a little time consuming But anyway gives me a chance to think um, I was in Augusta this past weekend at my niece's wedding um, and my nephew wanted to show me his new house that him and his wife had purchased and said when he moved in the walls were kind of dingy looking and needed painting real bad and carpeting and stuff and I was pretty impressed at the stuff he did as he fixed it up um, him and his wife uh, did all the painting in the house I think my nephew did the majority of the painting like up way up high in the foyer um he had to use a, a long ladder a brush and a roller and a stick and handle and i was pretty impressed um that's something i definitely not would not do because i'm scared of heights so there's no way in the world i'm getting up on a ladder that high um but i had to had to give it to him he did a good job they did a good job running, redec redoing that house that they moved into um then evans is close to augusta which is basically augusta but Pretty impressed um, with what he did. Um, then uh, with all the painting and decorating of the rooms and stuff and fixing up their baby room. And uh, he's got a little recording studio in there in his house that he's fixed up pretty nice. It's his Atlanta Braves room. He's got all kind of Atlanta Braves memorability around it. And I'd made him a wood flag for Christmas one year um, with the Braves on it and he had that on display as well with a whole lot of the brave stuff a lot of track lighting he put in himself and i was really impressed but um it's not it's not hard to believe because actually my brother is a, a very good woodworker too um he's a lot better than i am i mean he's he builds some stuff that uh i probably can't do um he also put down hardwood floor and, and a lot of his house and a lot of his daughter's house the one that just got married and um took all the carpet out but he's a pretty good woodworker so like but my nephew i really really was impressed with what he did um you know it, it gave me some ideas of stuff i want to do in my own house as far as track lighting and uh different things like that of course i'm not gonna i don't have a need for a sound studio but i do have my clemson room um thinking about building some frames for old jerseys and stuff that i have some shadow boxes or whatever but um like he's got some of his Braves jerseys that he built shadow boxes for them as well. It looks really nice. So, um, I was very impressed. So, uh, but anyway, that's what I do with the cracks of this thing here. And I'm going to get the rag. Whatever I did with it. And I'm going to stain all over the parts I just did before I get the rest of the cracks. These Chevron tables are not not really hard to build i thought they would be when i first started building them they're just real time consuming they take a good bit of time cutting all the angles and getting all the pieces on here the right way and they put the trim on which is basically the edges of a two by four is what the trim is i just sliced it on the sliding saw the table saw and um made some trim pieces but um anyway this is what I'll do. I just, like I said, I go through with the brush on the cracks. Just make sure the stain gets down in there. I think it just started pouring that rain outside. But um, I get that done. I'm like I said, I'm putting the coating on this now. I only do one stain, one coat of stain, because unless the customer wants it darker, then that's the only way to do it. Make it darker. This Jacob being stain is to put two coats on there. But um, if you can do that, you might as well do it in ebony because it's going to turn it really dark. So I go do this, and then I'll um. Let this dry overnight and uh, 
come back out here tomorrow night and put the first coat of polyurethane on it, uh, oil-based polyurethane from Minwax. And that, that I'll do, and then I will um, sand it with lightly with a 120 grit sandpaper to get some of the residue off that the poly raises on the wood. It's like a little gritty sand, a little bit of grit sand type stuff. Um, I'll do that and then I'll uh, put a couple more coats of poly on it and sand it a few times lightly and it'll be ready to go.